Hello everybody. Today I'm going to explain what is duty cycle. All right, let's dive in. All right, duty cycle or power cycle is a fraction of one period for which a signal or a system is active. Duty cycle is represented in percentage or ratio. Simply put, duty cycle is the percentage or amount of time which where the signal is active with respect to the total time period. Now the time period is the amount of time it takes to complete one cycle. In this case, one cycle represents one on stage and one off stage. So duty cycle is a percentage of time spent where the signal is on to the total time period. Let's consider an example in this case. Let's say that the time period of this cycle is 10 seconds, meaning the time that it takes from this point all the way to this point. One on and one off cycle is 10 seconds. Now, if you observe here, we can conclude that the signal is on for, let's say, 5 seconds and off for 5 seconds. So duty cycle is nothing but the time that it's spent uh, on to the total time period. So in this case, it's 5 by 10, where the duty cycle is 50%. All right, let's look at some math. So this is a duty cycle equation. So here, duty cycle is nothing but the pulse width over the time period multiplied by 100 in percentage. The pulse width is nothing but the, the time that the signal is switched on, the active part of the signal. And in case if you don't want to express in percentage, you can remove the 100% and the answer will be a ratio and it'll be anywhere between zero and one. All right, let's look at different duty cycles, just 10%, 50%, and 90% respectively. I'm going to be using sound uh, as an example to demonstrate duty cycles so that it's easier to perceive how it sounds like. So for all practical purposes, I'm considering the time period as two seconds. That's the time the, the signal remains on and off. So that's the time from this point to this point. So in this case, the duty cycle is 10%, meaning it, the signal is in the active state for 10% of the time period and the, in the inactive state for 90% of the time. So this is how a signal with 10% duty cycle would sound like. All right, this is 50% duty cycled. So the signal is on for 50% of the time and off for the rest of the time. So in this case, given the time period is 2 seconds, so the duty cycle is 50% of 2 seconds, meaning it's 1 second. So the signal is in the active state for 1 second and in the inactive state for, the, for another 1 second. And this is how it will sound like. Alright, this is 90% duty cycle, so given the time period of 2 seconds, this signal with 90% duty cycle will be in the active state for 1.8 second and it will be in the inactive state for 0.2 second. And this is how it will sound like. Alright, now that we have learned about duty cycle, what are the applications? Well, there are a ton of applications. The most important is that each and every component in a device has their own duty cycle. For example, motors have a duty cycle of 90%. Now, the benefit of having a lesser duty cycle is that as the duty cycle decreases, the amount of active time of that particular component also decreases. This means the wear and tear decreases and eventually the useful life of that particular component goes up. Now, duty cycle also finds this application in biology, especially in with dealing with neurons. So in neural circuits, a duty cycle specifically refers to the proportion of a cycle period in which a neurons remain active. All right, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. Have a great day ahead.